Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, PGA professional, teaching specialist, been doing this for 40 years. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy today's video. Let's get to it. Psst, Sav. <laughs> Hogan had another secret, a secret waggle, which you just happened to do. Somehow. Look like at this thing. thing, isn't it beautiful? Let's explain how we plan the waggle as a miniature swing to get you ready to execute your shot. Most people waggle, they don't even know why they're doing it. Yeah. You gotta know why. You gotta have mm -hmm. a purpose to the waggle. Hogan definitely had a purpose to his waggle and you'll see during the video how it matched up with the shot that he wanted to create. And you'll see how easy this is. And then you wanna go back to last week's video where you'll see the jackknife drill. Mm -hmm. That is another major um, stepping stone to the waggle we're showing you today. We got your back. We're going to hit a little draw. I'm going to start it right edge of the red flag and draw it back behind the white flag. I've got my intermediate point right here. So as I'm approaching the ball, I'm getting ready to send, see the waggle? I'm getting ready to collect the ball from here and release it to the right of that intermediate point. There's the waggle. So, and look at how pretty that is. Ha <laughs> ha! You can see my divot is matching up beautifully to the right edge of that. And here is my impact. See how gorgeous that was? Notice how the ball is come, or the ball, the club is coming down, catches the ball, continues down to take the divot. Look at the club is still in the ground. The ball's already gone because I am through the ball and toward the target. So now, Look at this beautiful tracer. So we're starting off with a smooth little nine iron there, 135 yards, 140 yards. And it is the perfect little tracer. So if I'm going to perform a fade now. So if I go ahead and perform a little fade, I wanna go left edge, we're gonna go left of the white flag, back to the white flag. I'm getting ready to deliver. There's my little waggle. There's my collect and release in the direction of that target. So left edge, left edge, left edge. Ha <laughs> ha. So here is, we're looking at just only 161 side spin. Look at that back spin though. I think I have a pitching wedge in my hands, honestly. You notice now, look at how gorgeous that impact was. You can see the face is coming in open, collecting, and it just released square. See that? Ball coming off the face, beautiful little divot. The ball starts off in the direction that I want it to go. And you can see how it just stayed basically straight, just a little left of that white flag. So the waggle has to match the direction that we want the ball to go on. And it has to feel like I'm getting ready to move in that direction. So have a look at Sav. You're gonna see it beautifully in what she does. Psst, hey, look at this. You know what that means? It's fall, it's off season time, our favorite time to teach for Sav Moo and I. Get with us online once a week over the course of the winter. Get the changes made in your swing, the changes made in your routine, get some turbo into your swing, and then come springtime, it's time to get back out on the golf course and perform. The time to make the changes is now, not next spring. So check out the link below in the description and let's go.
Beautiful shot. First shot of the day. So where's your waggle? That was my waggle. What is your waggle? This one, you want to set up Oh, you have that little flutter. That's my waggle. We call it a little flutter. Oh no, it's my waggle. It's your waggle. So you have a, a smaller version of the waggle of what I just demonstrated. So when you're doing your waggle, what are you focused on? Uh, I'm feeling the weight. You're feeling the weight of the club? Yep. And you're getting ready to do what with that weight? Send it into my picture. All right. So show me in slow motion how you're going to be delivering to the left of that intermediate point for the draw. That's it. All right. Thin. Thin to win. But a draw. That's it. Oh, that's pretty. That went right over the white, drew back to slightly right of the red. Let's have a look at that. Look how pretty that contact was. See, club's coming down, the hands are in front. Look at that nice compression right in the center of the face. Mm -hmm. Ball comes off the face. The club keeps going along the ground. See how the, the club is still in the ground yeah. and the ball is gone. Beautiful approach from the inside. And there's that gorgeous little draw tracer. Oh, was that gorgeous. Yeah, that was perfect. It didn't take it. Oh no. It didn't take it. Just know it was really good, guys. It was, it sounded amazing. Okay, you're on the verge there. Okay, that's in the window. See that again. That sounded amazing. Yeah, that was good too. Wow, look at this. Beautiful height on that. Look at that. See how stable that club head is? Yeah. So you know that's right in the center of the club face. Mm -hmm. See how that ball's coming off the face? Yeah. And as, as the face is staying nice and square on the way through, if you would hit that off the toe, it would it have been snapped right open. Or yeah. on the heel, it would have wrapped around. Nice angle of attack. Look at that. Minus five degrees on the way down. One thing that's gotten way better in my iron play is my angle of attack. Why do you think? <laughs> because I'm getting through it. We're going that way, right? Yeah. I actually like that little waggle, the secondary waggle in there. Okay. Just to look at the, just to confirm the blur. So, the direction of the blur. so why don't we try the waggle that I just demonstrated before? Okay. Go ahead and set up. Point your club to the left edge of the intermediate point. Yes, yep. exactly. Mm -hmm. So your hands are in front and the club is pointing slightly to the left of the intermediate point. So it's just like a little. Exactly. Okay. So now when you do that, go ahead. Doesn't that feel like you're going to collect the ball from here and release it out there? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Oh, look at that precious shot. You just hit another right in the center. That's pretty good. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah. So did you guys see how she was pointing the, uh, the club into the direction she wanted to go? Most people think, so go to the top of the backswing. And what most people try to do is they unload here right. and then try to guide the club through in that direction. Yeah. Doesn't work very well, no. does it? So... Every, every sport, hockey, tennis, you watch that tennis serve. I mean, it looks like they're going to split the ball in half and the release is just, it's fractions, milliseconds yeah. on, in, in that rotation, in that pronation. So it's the same thing here. You think you're going to miss the ball. Most people, when they get to that position, 
they think they're going to miss the golf ball. Yeah. But there's so much G-force pulling the club away from you, mm -hmm. it's impossible. It feels so much more powerful, too. Like, it feels slingy. Exactly. Not guidey. Slingy, <laughs> not guidey. Very good, Sal. Okay, so I'll do yours again. That's it. Good stuff. Just caught it in the heel a little bit. So, but it was a good delivery. It was really good delivery. Now, what I like, I think it's because of the turf here that it's not catching. Uh. So, what I like about that mm. is that when you, when you go ahead and do it again, you're going to feel how you have to maintain your posture. You feel how you're over the over the ball, ready to trap yeah, it in that direction. Still braced on the lead side. Exactly. Rather than like falling off. Exactly. Yeah, very nice. Look at how streamlined that shot was right there. Yeah. 19 spin to the left. Okay, let me give it a little bit more juice. Yeah, I mean, we're just we're just on cruise control right now. See, there's yeah. a, a slight heel strike. Can you see that? Yeah. So notice how when the ball meets the, the heel, then the, what happens is the face wraps around the ball slightly. Yeah. And that's why the ball didn't turn as much. Yeah. It had that gear effect. Oh, is that pure? Yep. Very nice. <laughs> and I'm holding my finish. Exactly. Isn't that a beautiful little eight iron you got there? Yeah. Super smooth. Beautiful contact. Beautiful right spin right there. Just started slightly left, came right back to center line. Just a gorgeous golf shot, Sav. Way to go. Thanks. Thank you for thank you for demonstrating. So which waggle do you like better now? They're both fantastic. They're both fantastic. All right. <laughs> well, thank you very much. No, props. For being... Oh, props. I'm not old person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll cut that out. <laughs> See you next week. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to work with either myself, Sav, or Moo, check out the description below. And if you want more in-depth instruction with two minimum camera angles, check out wisdomandgolfpremium.com. See you on the other side. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out.